All right, here we are. Let's talk about tangerine turkey. Tangerine turkey is Red Canary's name for a VBS worm, a visual basic script worm. It's delivered via infected USB drives, and it uses a print UI DLL hijack that goes on to deliver a crypto mining payload. We first started observing it in November of 2024, and what we saw were infected USB drives being plugged into victim systems. On the drive is a link file that goes on and execute that VBS file in the root dir folder. And the file names that we've seen typically follow a very similar naming convention, which is the character X followed by six random numerical digits. So in the folder that's created by the VBS file are additional script files. So you'll see VBS, bat files, dat files, and those all have the same X six digit naming convention. Those scripts go on to do a number of things, including creating a folder that's masquerading as Windows System 32. So instead of it being the regular Windows System 32, it'll be Windows space System 32. So it looks like Windows System 32 if you look at it casually, but it is a maliciously created folder masquerading as the system folder. Then the uh, malware goes on to use xcopy and they use that to move a legitimate copy of printui.exe into the new folder that's been created, that's masquerading as the real system 32. Then it goes on to create a printui.dll that's executed via DLL side loading. So they make it look like it's the correct print UI DLL executing, or print UI.exe executing from the system folder, but it's not. It's maliciously created. And the print UI.dll goes on to do a number of behaviors. It creates scheduled tasks and ultimately installs XMRIG as the mining software of choice for this, uh, these operators behind Tangerine Turkey. As we continued our investigation, we were looking for the configuration files for XMRIG. XMRIG requires typically a JSON configuration file to execute. You've got to put in parameters for XMRIG to do its mining operations. And we didn't see any being created on the disk along with all of these other files that were created. So we started pivoting through different IOCs that we were seeing in the behavioral execution and found some netcons out to operator controlled web resources. So that's how they were configuring XMRIG. They were pulling down the configuration parameters from these remote resources. And during that research, we were able to find a really excellent report from the Republic of Azerbaijan CERT's Malware Research Lab. And they had discovered in October something that they called the Universal Mining Operation, which has very significant overlaps to what we had observed and started tracking as Tangerine Turkey in November. As part of their investigation, they were able to scope the activity. And in October, 2024, they discovered infections in 270,000 computers in 135 countries. So this was much more widespread than we initially thought it to be when we first started our investigation. Additionally, a report from Quick Heal in December about similar activity said that it went on to mine Zephyr coin specifically, although it's worth noting that XMRIG does support several different kind of cryptocurrency algorithms, so it doesn't necessarily have to always be Zephyr coin. It could be a number of different kinds of cryptocurrency. Uh, talking about initial infection vectors, we did find a report from February 2024 from Turkey about a user who had plugged in their USB to make copies in a print shop. And when they plugged it back into their personal system, they saw behavior that followed the same behavior that we'd seen. So they also saw activity similar to Tangerine Turkey. Crypto miners are a concern for defenders because obviously they're using available resources on victim systems, which is not something that we want, but also, and more importantly, crypto miner 
presence on a system means that adversaries have gained access to that system. So historically, XM rig has not only been used in dedicated crypto mining campaigns, but it has also been used by actors as a secondary payload to monetize access that they've previously gained. And if adversaries have access to the system, then they could potentially go on to do any number of malicious activities. As far as targeting, this appears to be extremely opportunistic behavior. We've directly seen it with USB drives, uh, infected USB drives, and that's, that's opportunistic because you cannot specifically target an individual. Quickheal did report that there are variants that have been executed with different initial execution. So PowerShell, um, primary executables, and also initial execution of bat files. So there may be other variants that are delivered other ways. We've only seen it delivered via uh, USB drives. So for Tangerine Turkey specifically, we first saw it because Print UI was being created in that non-standard directory. At Red Canary, we've created some detection analytics that are based on the standard use of certain vulnerable DLLs and executables. And so when Print UI was created in an atypical directory, we were able to see that activity. Also, XMRig is not a new crypto miner, so there are a lot of rules available, there are rules available publicly for XMRig detection. And this is, as far as netcons go, once it's installed, it's fairly noisy. It reaches out to adversary controlled websites, it reaches out to a number of different remote resources. So if you were able to block those net communications, you'd prevent potentially minor configuration, as well as prevent any additional remote or control activity that might be taking place. This seems like fairly widespread activity, it's surprisingly widespread compared to what we expected when we first started taking a look at it. And we're still investigating it. So if you know more about Tangerine Turkey or are tracking it under a different name, we would absolutely love to hear from you.